All right, it's time for the star ingredient challenge. And for that, we call on Chef Cheryl and Short Charles. And it's all brought to you, could see the folks at the Dujardin. And mm -hmm. Dujardin, an entire range, Chef, of yes. frozen vegetables. Yes. And, I mean, when I saw, so this normally you see in a can. Yes. Mm -hmm. Peas and carrots mm -hmm. and corn. They have a mm -hmm. corn mix that's frozen. Yes. And that can be used just like that. And a, a little more healthier than the can. Than because, the can. you know, any candy, a lot of stuff they have to put in it to preserve it. Right. You know, but with it frozen, you can take it out, put it directly, and you're good to go. So, so you get that Jardin, freshness. Right. The Dujardin products are actually even healthier, especially around carnival time when you're looking to cut those to calories and pump it up and pump it up. Chef is not using the corn mix. She's no. using... Broccoli. Yes. The entire range of vegetables. Entire range. They have spinach. Mm -hmm. You have the wok mix. Um, the broccoli, corn. Uh, I think you name it. Yeah. I think they've packaged it for you. Once it's a vegetable. Once it's a vegetable. <laughs> it's in a frozen bag by New Jordan. I think, they, I think they even have Brussels sprouts. They have Brussels sprouts. I think. Sprouts. I think they have Brussels sprouts as well. As well. Which is not one of my favorites, but... Yeah. Favorite. You're not a Brussels sport girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you love broccoli? Yes. And what are you doing with broccoli for us this so, morning? So, this morning, again, as you said, carnival time, everybody yeah. looking to, you know, take a, leave all the carbs, the bread, and that kind of stuff. So, we're going to make a broccoli souffle oh, omelette. Oh, good. this is fancy thing here. Not, I can make this up. Of course, <laughs> of course, you can make it. Uh, whenever you hear souffle, you get technical on. Right, but you see that souffle you're talking about is the technical one, and right. you ram a can, and you put it in the oven, and you have to eat it as soon as it comes out because it will fall. Um, no. No drama this one, in this one. No drama in this one. This okay. one is very easy. You could do it. Okay. Right. <laughs> so we have I have three egg whites here. Egg whites. Right. And I have some water. H two O flow. H2O flow. <laughs> so we're going to put that to whip. Okay. Right? Now, while that's whipping, I will take some of the broccoli because if you look at it, you will see it's big chunks. Oh, it's nice broccoli. Yeah. It's nice broccoli. It has this nice green mm. color. So we're going to take some of it and rough chop it because we don't want, you know, it this chunky inside of the omelet. Right? So egg whites is whipping here. Joel, you know, when you see your hands like that, it is not doing anything you whatsoever. Do, you do like me, I I'm relax right a little bit. All right. So you can take this and put in the egg yolk. So we're going to put three egg yolks three egg in yolks. there. So I was actually going to ask so why you separated the yolks from the because whites? Because you the fluffiness of the egg whites, when you whip it up, is what gives the souffle, the lightness oh, in the eggs. Right. Even when you're making the souffle itself, that is what it does. Mm. Right? So I think that's, that's good that, there. That, that, that's, a little, that's a little more than a rough chop there, Chef. That's a chef chop. <laughs> <laughs> if you are telling me rough chop that, <laughs> I, I finished a that. long time. <laughs> But you really just want some. I just want, want some, yeah, a little smaller a little than smaller. what the package will have. Yeah, than the big chunks, yeah, yeah. Than the big chunks. Than the big chunks. So move that away. We check our egg whites. So you see, it's just where we want it to be. Right. So, and and I, this is what you call stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Right. right. Stiff peaks. So you see, when it stands like that, yeah. that's what you want. And, and that's simply egg whites and egg water. Egg whites and water. All right. In a mixer, mix until it gets stiff peaks. Until it gets oh. stiff peaks. I can do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> See, I told you. So we have the egg yolks here. Oh. We're going to put in the egg whites now. Right? Oh, now that's cool. Right. Now, while we're going to mix that, I'm going to put my pot on to heat. Now, into this, I'm going to add some cheese. Don't worry, you know, we need a little protein uh, yeah. outside of the egg. Uh, we have to have a, oh gosh, man, oh we have to have a little something. so healthy, you could eat. You could eat, eat a little cheese in your life. We have mozzarella. <laughs> mozzarella. Cheddar. Cheddar. And parmesan. And parmesan. You see why I love this, chef? <laughs> right? We'll just still put a little salt, a little, a little black pepper. pepper. And I let, have a little, um chive and this mind you is from my garden chef you have a green zone too yes <laughs> so we're going to mix this up right 
Okay, this is this is new. Yeah. I've, I've never done this shift. So now remember too, you want to take your time and mix it up because you don't want to deflate the egg. Right, it's kind of folding. I'm right. seeing a folding motion there. And then we add in. Adding now the you can use whichever of the Dijardin brand that you want. The vegetables. Yes. So I, I could have used a, 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 the corn mix just say in this yes, as well. Yes, you can. You just give it a a nice little rough chop as you a said. A nice little rough chop, right? I could have even used some Brussels sprouts. Yes, for you. <laughs> yes. So you see, we have a nice mix. Yeah. Okay. Nicely mixed. So into our pot, we're going to add some butter. So I I like to swirl yes. the butter around so that the you know the pot gets. Properly even, well coated, even, even all on the sides. Nice. All right. I think we have enough butter there. Let's take this piece out. We're still trying to stay a little healthy. A little healthy because yes. I was going to say, never had, it, had right. enough butter, chef. And then we pour our mix here. And we leave it to. Uh, to come together. If you look at it, you'll see it starts to, it's starting to come together. But remember, because we pour something that's cold inside of there, right. it's going to take a little time now to build back to up. Build back the heat, heat. To build back yeah. up, right? So you want to leave it, allow it to, yeah. to so set almost? To, yes, to set almost. If you watch it, you will see, if you could, you know. Okay. <laughs> it'll be helpful. You know? Yeah, right, you see, right. Mm -hmm. You see the sides mm -hmm. starting mm -hmm. to set? So as you said, this is like a, it will give that nice fluffy. Right, nice fluffy. Now, texture. the thing about it is this is one meal. You don't have to add anything to it from the time you have this for breakfast. So let's say, you know, you're going to jump up with a little bun and you want something quick, <laughs> yeah. you know, because you know you're getting food when you meet the bun. <laughs> <laughs> Just make a quick a omelet. Quick omelet. So that it was, you don't need to say bread, you don't need to make a sandwich. No, you don't need to Cut sandwich. the carbs out. Yeah. Cut the carbs out. Right, yeah, because is... I think that's what you're doing, right? I'm trying. <laughs> How trying. is that going? I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, once, once, once we keep trying, once yes. we keep trying. Yeah, effort is there. The effort is there. The effort is there. That's the most important thing. We want to leave it for about three, four minutes or so. You have to be then, a little patient. You're right. You have to be a little patient. And then what we can do is just more add cheese. a little more parmesan cheese nothing, on top of it. There's nothing wrong with that. Chef. Nothing wrong there's with that. absolutely nothing wrong with that. Oh, good. That's a lot of cheese. cheese. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. <laughs> and you ready to play, Chuck? And I'm ready to put it on a plate. Oh my Still. god. This is a big fluffy omelet. How many eggs? Three eggs alone. Only three eggs. Only three eggs. Now, you can share <laughs> okay. this um, omelet. You can. To share. Yeah, but it's only three eggs. Yeah, but <laughs> look how big this three it's eggs is. Egg, but, but that's the souffle effect. That's the souffle effect. That's the, that's the whipping effect. of the egg eggs. Eggs, yeah. That gives you that effect. Wow, I don't think, I don't think I can do another ordinary omelet. I am doing souffle omelets, omelets. from now. Yes. <laughs> Look at nice how. Nice and fluffy. Oh my goodness. I feel I'm going to join you yeah? in tasting today, yes. Shashai, can I, can I help mm -hmm. garnish you? I, of course. Yeah, I, I, oh. From my garden. Oh, from a garden. <laughs> from my garden. Guys, good to see the folks at Du Jardin. This is amazing. Um, Chef Cheryl and Short Charles creating another wonderful recipe. An egg souffle omelet. Omelet using with broccoli. With broccoli, using du jardin broccoli. As she said, you can use all the range of vegetables mm -hmm. by du jardin. We want to thank the folks at du jardin for making it possible. Chef, can I get in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're coming right back. Thank you very much. Perfect. Oh my I goodness. Know.